choose to go to the moon. Lift off on Apollo 11. The Eagle has landed. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm David Curley at the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum where we are marking 50 years since man landed and walked on the moon in a lander just like this one. We are going to show you some of the actual ABC News coverage from 50 years ago during that eight day mission of this remarkable achievement. Some called him the third man. He was the command module pilot and commander, Michael Collins. We got a chance actually to see some of the training 50 years ago of him taking the hatch out between the LEM, a lunar lander like the one you see behind me, and the command module. And also Frank Reynolds, our anchor at the time, and our science editor Jules Bergman asked him what it would be like to take off on that Saturn V rocket. You simulated most everything and you flew Gemini. But what will it really be like when the Saturn V thunders into life and lifts off? We can't tell how big it is from where we sit, uh, which is probably a good thing. You know, uh, from a distance of a couple of miles, uh, which is as close as I care to get to one of those things without being up on top of it, it looks like a pretty horrifying uh, experience. But uh, in talking to those who have ridden the Saturn V, they tell me it's, it's no more uh, impressive or awe-inspiring uh, for the occupant than was the Titan II or probably uh, any other uh, rocket of that type. Ooh, it's hot work. Yeah, I'm sorry you all couldn't uh, get inside to get a better view. You understand the, uh, the geometry of this isn't exactly designed for TV audiences. I'm awfully sorry about that, but uh, I hope you get some idea of the, what is involved in, uh, in joining these two vehicles together and getting them undocked. It's, uh, it's quite a uh, complicated mechanism, and it has to be because the, uh, the probe occupies the space that the men have to uh, occupy to move through into the limb. And uh, given that fact, I think uh, this machinery is all uh, very well designed, and it appears to be working well today. I hope it will in the flight. How do I feel? Oh, fine. How do you feel? Okay. Well, now, when you gaze at the moon these days, do you have any special thoughts about it? Uh, Neil Armstrong told us that uh, he's a bit sorry because, uh, well, he implied the romance has all gone out of it. He's looking for specific landing sites and he's identifying landing landmarks. Do you feel that way about it? Well, that's true. I think uh, maybe after the flight it would be uh, a good therapy for each of us individually, of course, to go out and park in a convertible uh, somewhere on a dark night and look up at it and try to restore our perspective. 